Go with slow shadow on the mic. I play to win, never to lose. In the contest of champions, I'm the one that shoes. Swipe straight oh, down, my moves are slick. Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick. Class champ, I'm the master of the game. Cosmic science, skill tech, mutant, I claim. Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. The fight, I'm swift. My tactics excite. Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world. Marvel, I'm the King Crown, so listen up. Here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So now we're going into Spring of Sorrow, and we're gonna be doing the left path. Okay, you can see right there, I already did the right hand side. That video is already up and out, okay? Now we're going to do the left-hand side, and you can see who I decided to go in here with. Um, we've got Hitmonkey, we've got Jessica Jones, and we've got Spider-Ham, okay? Now, my Spider-Ham is only rank one, and I recently awakened him. I like Spider-Ham, and I always intended to take him up, but, you know, we got the resources, and we started taking up other seven star champions, other um, science champions. And now I'm thinking I can get a gem that will allow me to take him up to rank two. And he may be my next rank three. All right. Now, in this particular fight, my main strategy, bait out special ones and let the poppers do their work so you need to be able to evade this as you can see i've practiced it i had to fight her in um alliance war and i kept getting clipped by her last uh special the last part of her special rather now you also don't want to parry her okay so what you see me doing here just bait, put the poppers on her, watch for that evade, and just wash, rinse, and repeat. Okay, now I'm running um, Liquid Courage and Double Edged Recoil Masteries. I'm actually not sure if that makes a difference to um, Spider Ham's popper damage, but I was told that there are two things that affect it. For sure one the more power they have the more damage his power stings do so you generally want to give them as much power as possible so that you'll do more damage faster okay I didn't know that until rather recently now you'll notice also that um, you're getting power drain that's that's Viv vision Okay, it is possible to go to a special three. You know, you can use heavy attacks and such, but I don't recommend it. Stick to just letting the poppers do the work if you're gonna be using spider ham, okay? Um, as you can see here, you, you take a good amount of damage uh, into your block, okay? But, my um, recoil masteries it doesn't really affect me because I'm not firing a lot of specials I'm just letting the poppers do the work now spider ham also has a spider sense evade and he can evade I believe some of Viv visions attack okay and I saw some people instead of trying to evade her attack just outright will block. Look at that, I just got caught. Um, block and then let it evade, um, auto evade for the last one. All right, so what you're seeing here is me. This is my first time trying to use Spider Ham against this Viv Vision. Uh, I mentioned it in the other video uh, for the right hand side. But I hit record, 
and that's what you're watching. So it is raw footage, no editing. It's just everything, all the mistakes that I made, everything, and me just giving some commentary. And if I complain, which I am most likely going to do, do not let that fool you. I actually enjoyed this uh, event here, okay? This was actually uh, pretty fun, all right? But when my inputs drop, that gets frustrating. When the AI is acting up, that gets frustrating. And so, yeah, I may complain about that every now and then. But overall, I would say that this was a positive experience. I actually enjoyed uh, these fights, okay? Even the ones I didn't enjoy 100%, I still enjoyed, all right? So, as you can see here, I didn't even try to um, go for a solo. We just going in and let's just try to get this thing done, you know? And I wish I had a rank three spider ham already for this fight. But I have to wait. He's coming. He's coming. He's definitely going to rank two. As soon as I'm able to, he's going to rank two. So if you're watching this video and one of my mystery rank up theaters, you're going to know after, after I get 100 magnetron crystals, after I have that crystal opening, the next mystery rank up theater, Spider-Ham is going up to rank two. So you guys have a, an advantage. You already know one of the champs that I'm going to take up in that video. It'll be after the Magnetron Crystals because uh, I'm going to wait until I have all 100 of them and then do an opening. And in the milestones, there are uh, gems. And one of them is a one to two rank up gem. I think it's Arcade. And he meets the criteria and I'm gonna use that gem on him, okay? But as you can see here, we're, we're, we've got this fight pretty, um, pretty well down, you know? As long as you can, man, that evade. As long as you can evade her special um, decently and you don't have to block, you're good, okay? So that's pretty much, if you're using Spider-Ham, let the poppers do the work. And I believe this was really the main fight I brought him in here for. Look at this, she's at 1%. I'm like, really? Get out of here with that 1% stuff. So we got her down. It didn't take uh, too much effort. What, one revive, not a problem. Now we come to this fight. Now let me tell y'all about this fight and my rationale on uh, doing this. Now, if you watched my last um, video, I only got three objectives done. The reason I only got three and not four is because I brought Odin in rather than bringing in someone who was House of Mirrors and a tech like Shuri, you know? I could have done that and I would have had four objectives done. Now, I also did the King Group fight against Onslaught. It was horrible. And that allows me to skip an objective. So I have three that I already got done. Doing this left side, I just need to do two objectives and the completion and uh, the exploration, and I have all of the milestones done. The only fight I was concerned about was this fight right here. I hated this fight, y'all. Now, everybody and their mama, look at this, I'm just getting smacked up already. Everybody and their mama wanted to use Torch, okay? I used Torch. He is definitely the best counter, right? However, look, look at this. Look at me just getting smacked up, right? Um, 
the problem with Torch is if you don't get the solo, you're in for a really hard time. And if you don't do enough damage, then you're in for a very, very rough time. Okay? So, I was like, all right. Um, I remember having a, a fairly straightforward time with Jessica Jones. But she doesn't meet the criteria for the year. But since I can skip one, I said, all right, let me bring Jessica Jones. Because if, if, if Iron Fist had been the first fight instead of Viv Vision, I would have went ahead and used Torch. My Torch is only rank four. It doesn't matter. He can still do the fight. I would have used Torch and... If I didn't get the solo, I would have just restarted. But since he's the second fight, restarting would mean a revive. But look at what I'm doing as bad of a start as I got with Jessica Jones. Look at what I did. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, and, you know, get this reset. But look at the damage. And that was with a bad one. Now, this right here... Uh, I'm like, wait, what is this? They trying to get me to use um, units, right? And so I'm sitting there looking at this going, what, what, what's going on? I was like, I just want to, you know, revive her a little bit and then, you know, use some heals, you know? And then I'm like, oh, wait, I need to go get some heals. So I'm going to go and uh, get some heals from uh, these free Paragon crystals that... I'm not going to ever get again since I'm now Valiant. All right. But anyway, Jessica Jones, I like her. My Jessica Jones is rank five, SIG 200, Ascended. And I realize not a lot of people have her. But for me, she was a safer and more enjoyable option. For this Iron Fist. You can do this fight with anybody if you know how to do the fight properly. I am always messing up. Because my attention tends to waver. And if there's a lot of things I have to keep track of. Like, okay, he's got his protection up. Alright. Oh, wait. I'm at, um, you know, six count. Alright. So I need to let him hit my block a little bit. Okay, wait. I have to back off a little bit. Alright. Hit the block. Hit him. Okay. All right, wait, wait, okay, yep, there we go. You know, that right there, while I'm also trying to fight, is a little difficult for me, okay? A lot of other people don't have a problem with it. I do. It, it, it's difficult, but I get it somewhat, you know? Uh, another option that I was told is good for this Iron Fist is uh, Mole Man. My Mole Man is also ranked 4, Again, it doesn't matter. He can still do this fight. Okay? Um, but here we go. You know, you just have to play patiently. Okay? You don't want to play aggressively, which is my default way of playing. So I'm having to play in a way that's not comfortable to me and keep track of a lot of things. Okay? So we also have the root, which triggers me, but... You guys already know that. Um, you see you see how I'm just like whoo, whoo, trying to fight and the, the um, root is holding me back? Oh, you just don't know. But in any case, we're getting it done. We're getting it done, right? So you can use, if you have Jessica Jones, you can use her. You can use Mole Man. You can use Human Torch. And honestly, you can use pretty much anybody that meets the criteria if you need to get all of the uh, points there. I had to get some benefit out of doing that King Brute fight. And being able to bring Jessica in against this uh, Iron Fist, wow, beautiful. So I'm gonna get it. And it wasn't really that bad at all. You know, just, just look at her. See, when Jessica Jones was really getting popular people were using her on defense and a lot of people didn't realize that she was actually pretty good on offense 
Look at that. I went for a heavy. I have to really learn her heavy timing. Look at that. Twice now. I went for a heavy and he just whoop pa. That that's that's me. That's me um messing up the timing on the uh heavy attack with her. Cuz her heavy attack for some reason I delay it a little bit. I don't know. All right? Now here I got rooted and I'm right next to him, but I can't hit him. Oh, that is frustrating. I hate root. It triggers me. All right? But I'm just like, let's just let's just get her done. Let's just keep going. It's almost over. And I also remember uh checking to see if I accidentally used units on that other healing thing because it came up and surprised me. But I'm I'm used to it now. There are two ways you can click the um uh, or open up the healing options. One of them will have the automatic one available. The other will be your regular one that, you know, you're used to. All right? So here we go. We got the protection down. <laughs> I just love it. She said, no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Bam! I watched the full season of Jessica Jones. Um, I didn't watch the next ones, but the first one I liked. Look at that. You see how... I don't know why, but my heavy attack... Maybe I'm holding it too much. And there we go again. But do you see that indestructible? Nice. She is very tanky. Okay. And then here we go. Bam! Tiger! Uppercut! And we got him down. So, again, not too bad. Okay? Pretty, pretty smooth uh, so far. Now, I want to say something before we get into this. Because I'm a little tired. Okay. Now, you guys, if you watched my other video, you'll know that I soloed this Gwenpool. Okay. And uh, this time it wasn't quite so nice. <laughs> All right. Now, this is my boy Hit Monkey. And I was trying to get used to it again. And I did these back to back. I did the right hand side, recorded that, stopped the recording, then I hit record again, and then I did the left hand side. All right? So you would think I'm nice and warmed up, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. And I love Hit Monkey. Look at this, ba -da -da. look at all that damage. So at this point, I'm like, man, Hit Monkey gonna tear her up. Look at this. Mm. So if you're not familiar with this fight already, and I talked about it on the other one, um, you basically want to bait out her specials, and you want to keep track of the uh, reverse controls uh, icon there. When it's gray, you can you're, you're at normal controls, so you can swipe left to evade. When it's red, you got to swipe right to evade. Okay, so if you can just keep that in mind, you're good. Now look at this. I'm I'm rocking right, but I messed up. And you see his health? And then I was off. Because I was just like, wait, wait, wait. Oh, man, that's right. I... And that was it. So I was like, all right, all right. That's fine. No solo on this time. We got our solo on the last one. But we should be good. All right? If we do that same thing again, she'll go down. But since I'm not going to be using Jessica Jones... Uh, for the final fight, I said, may as well go in. And Gwenpool said, no, no, you're not doing that. So I was a little tired, but I got destroyed. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe, um, maybe we won't do that, you know? And then here it is again. See this? And I'm like, and I, I I was like, did I did I just 
accidentally hit that. It was only one unit, but no. So if you hit the one at the bottom left, you'll go to your regular one. If you hit the one um, right next to the champion, that will go to the automatic one, which is nice sometimes, but you will use units if you don't have enough. All right, so here we go again. All right, here we go. We're, our controls are reversed right now. And I did a full five hit combo because I didn't want it to turn while it was um, switching uh, the uh, control types. All right, here we go. That one didn't do too much damage, but it did some damage. All right, so here we go. Regular controls at this point. Okay, so we want her to throw it. She didn't. And I messed up because I was trying to get her to throw it and she would not throw it. You know, I did not want her to throw a special while it was switching because I knew I was going to get messed up. Okay. But we got it. We got it. Okay. And we're still going. And if you get hit by her, by the way, you need to do a light ending attack uh, combo. And I just got confused right there. And I'm just like, all right, let's uh, see see how I did a five hit combo. Got to do that five hit combo. And this is not going to do much of anything. It'll do some decent damage, but they don't crit. And then she just knocked me out. I was like, what in the world is going on? I need to go to bed. That's what it is. But let's continue. You know? And I'm just like, I'm going to get you. Now, I know I'm going to have to um, revive him anyway because Hitmonkey is who I want to use for that uh, Jessica Jones. So, I mean, uh, yeah, that Jessica Jones. So, I got to keep him alive anyway. And I could have, you know, revived one of the others, but eh. I was like, let's just use um, Hitmonkey. If I can just keep it together. All right, there we go. Now she's playing ball. That's right. Okay. And then I just got hit. And then I... Once I get messed up like that... Oh, my goodness. You see that? Oh. I just barely got the light attack off so that I wouldn't die. Barely. And I was just like, nah, I ain't going down. I ain't going down that easy. Come on. Now, I did the uh, striker so that it would go over to the regular controls because, again, don't want to confuse myself, and we made it. Even though we got smacked up, and it was close, I actually lunged at her because I thought I was going to just get taken out because of that, but I managed to get that light attack in so that I saved myself, and we were able to get her down. So, not the cleanest, but... We got it done. Now we're on the last fight. And if you remember, she takes more damage from critical attacks, which is why I wanted to bring in Hit Monkey, aka Crit Monkey. You also have to keep track of that protection. Okay. And you want to. Man, I got degenerated already. Um, you want to uh punish her specials. And you can see that special one is a little bit more difficult to punish, right? But we, we, we get her. We get her. All right. There we go. Let's try to get her to a special. There we are. All right. Now, throw it. There we go. But she's unstoppable. What? There we go. Didn't matter. As you can see, that's very, very nice. And look at it. We just chewing her down, chewing her down, right? If you can keep those um, protections off of her, you're good. All right? Bam. But then it didn't happen there. So somebody tell me what happened right there. It's something that I wasn't um, paying attention to because that surprised me. You know, I'm like, okay, as long as I punish her special, I shouldn't have to worry about her unstoppable. So I punished her special, 
but the unstoppable and she still got me. And I'm like, what just happened there? We were doing well. We were doing very, very good. And then that happened. And I was like, at first I was thinking, maybe I might get a, a, a solo on this. And then that happened. I was like, okay, what just happened? All right, here we go. Again, a D-Gen. Oh, I know why I got D-Gen. I purified. Um, Hit Monkey purifies uh, with the rotation that I usually do, and I always forget. I do it almost by uh, reflex. So anytime I, I did the purification, that's what happened with the D-Gen. You do not want to go in here with somebody that purifies. And then she got her unstoppable again. Okay. And I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm quite confused. So I'm waiting out her unstoppable. And I'm just like, okay, we should have this now. I just can't trust that unstoppable, um, uh, what do you, counter. All right, so there she is, she's unstoppable. And see, I normally would have gone in and punished it, but I don't know what was going on there. All right, and so here we are again. And see, you have a special that I need to use to get rid of her protection. But I'm scared because of the unstoppable. Now she's got three protections up, but Hitmonkey can still do damage. Those crits, as you can see, still doing damage. Boom. So while we didn't get the solo, we did use only, what was it, one revive? And we got surprised by that unstoppable. Not quite sure what was going on there. All right. So we got five of the six objectives done. And we got the extra point for exploration. So we got all of it. All of it done. Okay. Whew. See that there? So only one is left. But I don't need it. Uh, as I'm going to show you right here. There. 24 points. So we're good. I love it when a plan comes together. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight, those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown.